Hello and welcome to the WBAP 820 570 KLIF weather podcast for July 27th. I'm Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton from the Cumulus Media Center in DFW. We normally do this on a Monday, but uh, this fire situation in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and across North Texas is really getting out of hand and there's really no let up in sight. We're going to go right to the uh, morning satellite loop. Uh, Mostly clear skies across Texas, lots of sunshine. Highs are going to be at or above 100 over most of the state. Uh, Dallas-Fort Worth has already had 31 days at or above 100 so far this summer, but what's worse is we've had no measurable rainfall at DFW since June 3rd. That's 53 days, and we are desperately dry. Now, here's a quick look at the national radar map. Uh, A lot of rain in the Midwest and some around the Great Lakes, uh, but, of course, nothing really close to Texas right now. A little tropical stuff out there in the Gulf, but uh, nothing getting organized at this point. Okay, uh, we do have a couple of slight chances of rain in our forecast uh, for Friday and Saturday. This is the 500 millibar loop, and you can see the red and multicolored dots. They show vertical motion. So let me go ahead and stop this on uh, Saturday afternoon, and you can see some of the red and yellow uh, vertical motion uh, dots across the Panhandle and across uh, northeast Texas and maybe some in deep east Texas. It's not much to work with, I'll guarantee you that, Um, but rainfall chances are not uh, zero Friday and Saturday. They're close to it, though. And even if we did get everything we're expecting or hoping, it still wouldn't be enough uh, to do much good. So we're in this situation for some time. Now let's go ahead and pick up the upper-level model from tomorrow through the next week or longer, and you can see all that high pressure is moving right back into Texas again. Big high-pressure zone backing up from the east, moving back in over Texas. And so we're in this for the long haul. We have at least another uh, couple of weeks, probably, of this hot, dry weather, unless something else major can uh, dislodge it. We're just kind of stuck with it. Okay, here's the graphic that we're seeing again and again, the extreme to exceptional drought conditions across central and north Texas. That dark shaded area there, the bright red and dark red, uh, man, it's bad. It's really bad. And uh, these areas, again, they have it's been a couple of months since a lot of these areas have had any sort of rainfall at all. And right here in the middle of the summer, that's just the, the worst time for that. And you can see off to the right, the current burn bands, uh, most of the state is covered by a burn band right now. No, I mean, absolutely no outdoor burning. Okay, here's a shot of just one of the nearly two dozen homes heavily damaged or destroyed in southeast Dallas County in Ball Springs just a few days ago. This particular fire got started by mowers who were uh, mowing a green belt uh, beside a freeway, and we don't know exactly how a spark got involved or or maybe somebody threw a cigarette out, something. We don't know, but it started firing the grass, and then that grass fire just moved right into the uh, neighborhood and it took out about 26 homes and we've had other fires like this around other places had some in south fort worth in the rendon crowley area we've had some in uh, some of the other counties surrounding the dallas fort worth area so again it's uh, it, it's really bad when we have dry air tender dry grass trees and bushes and hot dry winds coming out of the south and southwest it's really a recipe for disaster this could be your home tomorrow This could be your home tomorrow, so please use all possible caution. No outdoor burning, no outdoor welding, no outdoor metal cutting, nothing that would cause any sparks because all it takes is just one spark to burn up another neighborhood. And just in case... uh And just in case, I suggest you go to the American Red Cross website and look at their suggestions for an emergency go kit just in case you need to leave your home in a hurry. Just go to AmericanRedCross.org and uh, see what they suggest for a survival kit. Okay, well, here's our forecast. Sunny, breezy, and hot, high near 103 today, Wednesday. Tonight's low, 80 to 83. Winds out of the south and southwest, 15 to 20 and gusty. Same thing tomorrow with a high, 102. Uh, We have a chance of afternoon thunderstorms in northeast Texas on Friday with a high near 101. Also a chance of isolated afternoon storms Uh, mainly northeast Texas again on Saturday with a high of 99. And then we're back to hot and dry Sunday, Monday, and most of next week. Well, thanks for joining us for this special edition of the WBAP 82570 KLIF Weather Podcast for July 27th. Please be extra careful and stay safe. Bye.